strong can. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I'm now designing a new crank for my e-bikes. I don't know which one is the better design, which one better mechanical crank, either the square tappers or the spline cranks. Hmm, I don't know Ken, but one thing is for sure, we come a long way from the old days of any things yeah. and the high wheelers. Yeah, now you know the e-bikes with all sorts of fancy technology right now. Yeah, speaking of technology, have you heard about the more safe approach in the SOLIDWORKS? More simple approach? I never heard about that. What is that? It's a way to simulate the behavior of the complex system like the e-bike, motors and the batteries using the computer models. It can help the engineer design better products and improve the performance. Wow, even can simulate batteries right now? Mm. That sounds so impressive. I can't wait to see the e-bikes that help us to reduce our sweats to ride onto the hill. Exactly. Let's optimize this old crank and check out more moxic approach in designing the e-bike. Sound like a plan. So, um, maybe you can show me how this advanced moxin can be running on your computers. Let's go find out. Have you seen those electric bikes around town? They are getting really popular and it's easy to see why. There is a great way to get around without spending a lot of money on petrol or polluting the air. Electric bikes or e-bike for short are also great for your health because they encourage you to exercise while you ride. That's why more and more people in the world are choosing to ride e-bike instead of driving cars or taking public transportation. We'll be showing you a cool new e-bike called the City Shark. It's designed using some really advanced computer tools and it's a glimpse into the future of transportation in the world. In coming episode, get ready to learn about the amazing benefit of e-bike and how they're changing the way we think about getting around our cities and towns.